Hi, this is Gordon Parker from Michigan Tech, and in this video I'm going to cover the Laplace transform property of multiplication by time. So let's say that we have some function f of t that is multiplied by t. So that's our multiplication by time part, and we want to take the Laplace transform of it. Well, what you do is you take the Laplace transform of the function that is not multiplica multiplied by time, that's f of t, and then take the derivative of what you get, capital F of s, with respect to s, and then don't forget to flip the sign. It's that straightforward. So let's just do an example. Let's say that we have g of t is equal to t squared e to the negative 2t, and we'll multiply it by the unit step, just to remind ourselves that um, this function, as far as the Laplace transform is concerned, is annihilated for negative time. So before we take the Laplace transform of it, let's go ahead and plot it. We don't really have to do this, but it never hurts to get a little bit familiar with the function that you're working with. So it's multiplied by the unit step, so it's 0 for negative time. It t equals 0, this turns on and becomes 1. This is 1, but this is 0. So g of t is exactly equal to 0 at t equals 0. Uh, now, as it progresses, what's going to happen is it's going to jump up and then decay back down to 0. That makes sense because this negative exponent e to the negative 2t is always going to overcome any polynomial that's multiplied by it, no matter what order it is. So eventually, it's going to squish down that polynomial term and uh, drive it to zero. Okay, so now let's go forward with the Laplace transform. So if we look at our function, we actually have a t squared, so we're going to have to uh, apply this property twice. And just to make that absolutely clear. Let's rewrite our function like so. So let's go ahead and apply the property twice. I'll say this is capital G of S and it would be negative DDS of negative DDS Laplace transform of e to the negative 2t 1t unit step. Boom. Now we have two negative signs so I could just cancel those out so I don't have to drag that around the whole time. And let's just start doing all the operations. So I have another DDS in here. The Laplace transform of e to the negative 2t is 1 over s plus 2. And let's go ahead and do this operation. So we have DDS, and I need to do the quotient rule on 1 over s plus 2. Derivative of the top is, with respect to s, is 0 times the bottom, but who cares, minus derivative of the bottom with respect to s, which is 1, times the top, so I get negative 1, and then I make sure I square the denominator. So there we go. I can bring the negative sign out front, and I'll have negative, uh, do the quotient rule again. Derivative of the top is with respect to s is 0, so we leave that alone. Um, minus derivative of the bottom with respect to s, so we have 2s plus 2. Uh, and don't forget that that was a minus from the quotient rule, uh, divided by s plus 2 the denominator squared, so s plus 2 to the fourth. Cancel out an s plus 2, flip the signs, and we get a 2 over s plus 2 cubed. And that is our g of s. We're done. That's it. Okay, so that was multiplication by time. And my name is Gordon Parker from Michigan Tech, and thanks again for watching.